They've been around for over 150 years, arriving in Victoria in 1858. They were teachers, health care providers, artists and much more. The Sisters of St Anne have always been visionary leaders. Some of their leadership started right here in this small building. It is considered one of the oldest houses in Victoria. And in 1858, the Sisters of St Anne's returned with Bishop de Meurs from Quebec to this very building and the first school classes were held here. This old schoolhouse of the Sisters of St. Anne is already at the Royal BC Museum, but the museum will now be adding a bit more of the Sisters' legacy to its collection. The complete private archives of the Sisters of St. Anne's will be moved to the Royal BC Museum, where it will be preserved and maintained for research and exhibition. A million archival records, including 100,000 photos, 500 pieces of art, and thousands of artifacts chronicling the work of the Sisters of St. Anne in British Columbia, which will be handed over to the museum. We're not just preserving things, we're not just preserving the records, but we're preserving who we were and who we are. This is the largest number of items to be relocated by the sisters, and it's also the first religious collection to be obtained by the museum. And I think the range of material is particularly impressive in that it does include letters and diaries and photographs, and, but also objects. The collection has been accessible to people through the sisters, but handing it over to the museum widens the audience. When it's part of a public institution, many more people get to hear about it, and it feels more accessible. We're learning a lot more about the sisters now that many of us may not have known before. A few months ago, part of the sisters' private art collection was handed over to the art gallery. The art gallery was such a small uh, part of, of our holdings in 20 art pieces and very significant art pieces. Uh, and this is everything. <laughs> so it's really, it's, uh, it's really a great day for us. There are no plans right now to exhibit the artifacts. The agreement signed on this day will ensure that the sisters will help archive the collection until 2027, after which it will completely be handled by the museum. It's just a wonderful collection, uh, but it, it comes with, um, you know, personal relationships and it comes with personal stories. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh for The Daily.